Hello, I'm Alan Kogosowski. I want to invite you to spend a little while with me and Galit Klaas in the world of Edith Piaf and her beautiful friendship with Marlene Dietrich. Where did I first meet Marlene, asks Piaf. I don't even remember anymore. She seems to have always been there, like my big sister. I remember exactly where I first saw Galit. It was at the Astor Theatre in Melbourne. She was the last performer of the night, and when she came out and sang Je ne regrette rien, she instantly became the only performer of the night. She was Edith Piaf, and at the same time, she was completely herself, Galit. She became the music. This is what a great performer does. I wrote a one-woman show for Galit based on Piaf's own words on the story of her life as told through her songs. For if ever there was a performer whose life is in her music, it is Edith Piaf. Le ciel de Paris s'envole une chanson mmh. Elle est née d'aujourd'hui dans le cœur d'un garçon Sous le ciel de Paris marchaient les amoureux mmh. Le bonheur se construit sur un air frais pour eux Sous la bande Merci, un philosophe assis, deux musiciens, quelques bateaux, puis les gens par milliers. Sous le ciel de Paris, jusqu'au soir, vous chantez. Mmh. L'hymne d'un peuple est pris de sa vieille cité. Si un jour. La vie t'arrache à moi Si tu meurs Que tu sois loin de moi Marlene, when did I first meet her? Uh, I don't remember anymore. Uh, it's like I've always known her. She's like my big sister. She wasn't always the glamorous film star, you know. She started off like me, in cabaret. She was the greatest fighter against the fascists there ever was. She sang for all the Allied soldiers. She considered herself a soldier, like them. That's one of the reasons they loved her so much in America. Time would come for roll call, time for us to part. Darling, I'd caress you and press you to my heart. And there, beneath that far off lantern light, you'd hold me tight. We'd kiss good night. Your lily of the lamp light. Your own lily, Marlene. After the war, everything was in bloom. People's hearts, spirits, and love. One couldn't help being in love. It was at that time I wrote the words to La Vie en Rose. I was getting married. Final preparations for the big day were overseen by Marlene, whom I chose as my witness. It was so much fun to see that great star turned into a dresser for the day. Des yeux qui font baisser le mien Un rire qui se perd sous sa bouche Voilà le portrait sans retouche De l'homme auquel 
j'appartiens Hold me close and hold me fast That magic spell you cast That is la vie en rose When you kiss me heaven sighs And when I close my eyes I see la vie en rose When you press me to your heart I'm in a world apart A world where roses bloom And when you speak Angels sing from above Everyday words seem to turn Marlene, she was proud of her logic and disdain for all religions. <laughs> Nevertheless, she picked them up when it suited her. <laughs> At takeoff time, whenever she flew, <laughs> out came a, a little chamois bag, and in it she had a chain hung with a gold cross, a miraculous medal, a St. Christopher medal, a star of David, a Capricorn insignia, and a rabbit's foot. How can you not be a believer when there's love? Mon Dieu, mon Dieu, mon Dieu, laissez-le-moi encore un peu, mon amoureux. Un jour, deux jours, oui, jours. Laissez-le-moi encore un peu à moi. Le temps de s'adorer, de se le dire. Le temps. Laissez-le-moi remplir un peu 